And wherever you're watching from around the world, we are live from our studios here in Lagos, Nigeria. I am Kelly Egiga. Let's get things started now with security matters. As despite a 24-hour curfew imposed by the Kaduna state government, many Nigerians have expressed outrage as gunmen launched fresh attacks in southern Kaduna communities. This is just as the network and police reforms in Nigeria. Norprin says the government, both at the state and federal level, have no will to end the killings in that area. Now, speaking in an exclusive chat with Galaxy's Justin Akadonye, the national coordinator of Norprin, Emmanuel Ikules, who cites some achievement of the military in other countries, is worried that despite their competence, nothing is seemingly being done to end the killings in Nigeria. Reacting to postulations that the state government is seemingly overwhelmed by the security issues in their own domain, the security analyst says it is not surprising as the police gets its authority from the center. Know what to do, but they don't want to. Why? Because there are many instances that have shown that Nigeria is capable. A lot of this, there have been issues in Africa generally and issues of peacekeeping among others and Nigeria have been able to handle those cases in different countries not once not twice and their record has actually speaks for them that means they have competence to do it when it comes to Nigeria with the issue of Boko Haram it's not that we cannot handle it. recently about 356 soldiers resigned that's a red, a red flag indicating there's something in the system and there have been also voice recording of different soldiers speaking. 